Hello, we made it to the final nine of the 2024 LWS Open at Idlewild presented by Dynamic Discs and the Natty. It's the 14th stop out of 18 at the Disc Golf Pro Tour Elite Series events. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. I'm Madison Walker. We're your two hockeys. Honk. Honk. We're watching some golf. We're watching some clean golf from Own. We're watching a lot of other things also from the rest of the card. Just getting worked out here. It happens. It's a, a lot about mental game and trying to battle back. There are birdies out there. There are still a lot of big potential numbers out there. The back nine is tough. And once you get to uh, the lead card a couple days in a row, on your third round, you're just waiting for when is the disaster going to strike? It's it's coming. It's due, right? <laughs> That's how Idlewild is. But um, it's uh, looks like to be in the top 10. You got to be at right around four over par for the weekend. Not a lot of players under par out here as usual. Hole 10 is an uphill par three, 368 feet. Another one that's i don't even want to call it a, it's a tweener i guess um i think it does average usually three and a half 3.6 something like that uh we have not seen anyone even land in circle two let alone birdie it weird little flex line i kind of like we've been seeing this punching straight line with a backhand that ends up on the left we've also seen own and morgan take a sidearm play that i really didn't think was going to work but there's a landing zone over there that has an open look at the basket today it averaged 3.82, second most difficult hole of the day. Oh. Own farther right than she has been the previous two days. Yeah, you can tell she doesn't like that one. Oh, Morgan early and a bad, bad kick. And that's one of the reasons it's surprising to see the sidearm, that right side, there's just not a lot of lanes through there. Deanne catches that first guardian tree on the right that you find if you're trying to throw a flex. Let's see if Raven can find the route. Oh, yeah. Good shot. I wish she got a little bit more rewarded on the skip, but really nice. Deanne way back here. It's going to be super difficult to get up to the putting surface. Honestly, wow. What a recovery. Yeah, with really bad footing, too. What a great shot. Morgan having to go stand still. Oh, almost perfect. Going to check up into circle two. Hopefully she has a look at running it. Another basket that's perched on a hillside, though. You don't see a ton of rollaways, but they're there. You can. Own is a machine. I, I don't even see a gap over there. Raven rewarded with a nice straight look at it. Does catch a tree, but is only about 20 feet for the par. I love her little standstill approaches. <laughs> tree for par oh so close to recovering that errant tee shot that was a cool camera angle mm -hmm. that tree was perfectly in her way Deanne <sighs> doing work as well dead center high and Deanne I mean committed off the tee just a little right great recovery shot a good putt Still a bogey. Oh, oh. Raven. Yeah, I didn't get quite enough legs, enough pop on the disc. Easy to leave it short when it's a little bit uphill. Own with a phenomenal recovery. Keeps her bogey-free round going. Three bogeys from our lead card on hold 10. There were no birdies on the day. One person got to circle two in regulation. Congratulations to that person. First one in the field. <laughs> it doesn't happen. Wonder who it is. Mystery lady. Man, it must be so bizarre to be 11 strokes ahead of your closest car mate, card mate. Like, I think it's only six. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. 11 we, total. Yeah. But, but still wild. We just, like, never see that. No, especially at Idlewild. It's where there's not a ton of scoring separation. This is one that everyone can birdie, though. 
it's a very small gap. Own working the forehand, but most players opting for a straight little putter backhand here. Yeah, I meant total. Uh, own Megan the forehand work for her getting up to the right. That's the best angle, I think, to putt at it. It's the flattest. Whoa. Morgan pipes it. Actually, too much. Ace running. Deanne with the backhand. Believe it or not, the more typical play on this hole and just be nice. Oh, you so close. see that so often. And that's a tough putt coming uphill. Raven squeaking by on the right side, getting a very late kick to the right. She'll be pin high, which is nice on this elevated basket. Dealing with some plants. <laughs> Looks like she gets that to chain high, but misses right. I'm not sure how much of a comeback a Raven's going to have for the par there. Deanne or a birdie. Straight uphill. Oh, yeah. Great pop on it. Good conversion. Made that look like such an easy putt, but it is not. That's what I mean. How does she look so composed even after the round she's having? Cool to see. Mental game strong. Ah. Oh. What a great run, Morgan. Low right, splashes out. Morgan is so close to having a, a round similar to the last couple of days. Just inches out here. Oh, and stacking up another birdie. Great comeback putt from Raven. This was the easiest hole of the day with 24 birdies out of 44 competitors. Over half the field. What a putt. Yeah. Own oh, moving to seven down on the round through 11. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hole 12. Uh, difficult par four, even though it's only 564 feet. Uh, early anything is bad, I think, especially on the right. Mandatory on the left here that you need to go right of drop zone if you miss it. And then this teeny little tunnel is kind of the only gap they give you to get there for a birdie. Unless you take a big sidearm off the tee and get so far right, there's a couple of gaps over there. I feel like none of them are like, oh yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. You just get down there, see what you have to work with. You see a lot of backhand turnover or flex shots, depending on how aggressive you want to be. I think the sidearms are a really good play too. Yeah. If you don't go far enough, right? Like where she is checked up, it's kind of difficult there's she's basically looking at a wall of trees and she has to decide whether to um, try to pinch something down the left side gap or poke and hope sort of on the right quote unquote gap oh i love this from deanne that's beautiful that's so good looks like her alpha lariat wait yep she's also going to be just a little bit pinched on the left side but that distance is really helpful on this hole most players just excited about getting a par here Morgan working the sidearm and gets the ground play. She might have some of those gaps I was talking about. She's a little bit farther than own. Ooh, Raven yanks that one. Gets a kick to the left. It really keeps flying. I don't really know where she went. Yeah, no OB over there, but it is a pretty good wall of trees. And she oh. still has to make the mandatory. She's trying to work the flex sidearm and does a pretty dang good job of it. Wow. That was so good. Yeah, I'm surprised she didn't just try to kind of hyzer and get some ground play, but that flex forehand definitely got a lot more distance. Own does have a teeny gap. Makes the initial gap, gets caught up after that. Yeah, it's a really weird angle from there. There's not really an actual gap. You just kind of throw and hope it doesn't hit any trees. Morgan does have a gap, though. That's a pretty good one for this hole. 
Yeah. Coming in hot. Oh, and you see that so often. It's a pretty fast green and really rough behind it. Doesn't leave you a lot of putting opportunities. Deanne left with <laughs> pretty much nothing. A wall. Filters a good ways. Has a long putt. We know Deanne is good for some circle two putts. Owns third. Another really weird lie. Oh, so good. Was I fine there yesterday? My card mates and I were debating. I don't remember. The one that's hanging right there by the green. I just like black out on this hole. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Just like look how many things there are. There I must go through them. Are, uh, are you? Oh, that? No, that, that was not there. Yeah. A few too many things. Raven making it through the last like someone bit moved, of the woods. I feel like someone moved that before my card came through because I don't think it was there. Um, no, it was there when I went through early in in the morning no i mean like just for your card no like like maybe by the time my card came through they moved it because it i feel like it wasn't there anymore mm. i don't know i don't remember so that it's like at all. right in the way of morgan well you were also blacked out so And par feels good here. I think most of us would like a few more trees out of the way on this one. On the second approach shot. But a round of pars is great. There was uh, one birdie on this hole from Chantel Budinsky. Did she get it twice? Wow. And it was. this is still middle of the pack on difficulty, even with only one birdie. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Introducing Disc Raptor, the best way to clean and dry your discs on the course. Make short work of mud, moisture, and dust in a quick spin. It's there when you need it. Welcome to the future of disc golf. Uh, hole 13, the Y hole, it's 584 feet. You're just trying to get through this high gap and ideally hyzer right around this corner tree. There's an OB Creek over there if you come in early. Your second shot is just kind of dictated by where your drive lands. There's not really one good gap, just a lot of smaller gaps and you have to cater to the one that you're lined up to. This one is three-able, but it's a really challenging second shot where you do have to kind of push the OB on the left side. Checking in with Natalie Ryan, who is still bogey-free, having a great round. Huge shot through the Y, gets to the very corner, which, yeah, doesn't have great gaps here. But what great commitment on the sidearm from Natalie. Beautiful upshot. Another one, I mean, I feel like we should just record ourselves saying, one where you just throw through the trees and hope. Yeah, you pick she, your gap and she was actually lined up pretty well to a gap. She just hit it perfectly. It was a small gap, though. Like, that's an impressive shot. Owen has been throwing this straighter than most of the competitors and then going huge on the second shot. This actually has more fade than we've seen from previous days. And it's flirting with the OB a little bit, but it's green. Man, that must feel good to make the Y every day. Not a lot of people did that, I bet. Deanne with the unfortunate little kick. It's kind of a chancy if you land safe or OB once you connect with any of those early trees. Someone pitched the idea today on my card, which I'm sure people have thought of, this whole thing being OB, a teeing from OB, and then a drop zone if you land anywhere short. It's a little too fluky down there. Morgan getting through into the tall grass. Going to be difficult to birdie from there, but you're happy just to get through and across. Yeah, I think that would make this hole more professional. Mm -hmm. Raven going backhand, fading too early towards the creek. OB. And OB pretty early. There's kind of that corner. I don't know if she'll be able to go out and around it. Um, we'll see. Deanne just trying to get through this gap, the further left you get, the easier it is to approach the green. That's going to be tough. There is one little sneaker gap we saw Rebecca Cox take the last couple of days. 
Wow, Raven going sidearm to cut the corner. She just threw over OB towards more OB. And looking like she throws a heck of a lot more sidearms than she does. That was phenomenal. We saw her do something similar in round one. And Morgan kind of lining up a similar gap that Natalie just threw. Nicely done. She'll have a putt for birdie. Owen left with kind of a real gap on this left side. Really nice. I've got past that one corner tree you have to avoid. Skinny, but it catches a lot of discs. Dean working up the very crowded right side. Gets a little kiss. <laughs> and uh, the course maybe trying to give her one or two back. <laughs> she just said the course owes me something. <laughs> Raven has a tree in her way. That's a scary little gap. Solid run, but is that... It's safe, yeah? Yeah, I think so. I think there's a... Oh, actually, it's closer than I thought back there. Morgan also just totally obstructed tree right in her way. The end for a bogey. Solid putt. Raven. Looks like she's inbounds putting for a bogey. Uh, putt just a little bit off on the last few for Raven. At that tester kind of 25 foot distance. Morgan. Some more solid golf stringing together some good pars on some challenging holes. Raven, gonna have to card the double. A little rough stretch through the middle holes here. Own playing a different game than anybody else, which she often does, but she's shredding this course. Bogey free, lots and lots of green. There were only three birdies on this hole. We saw Natalie Ryan. We just watched Owen Scoggins. Rebecca Cox, the only other one to get it. She's her second time getting it this weekend. Yeah, we got to see her get it yesterday as well. Own eight down now. Hole 14, a par four, 556 feet. Look at this little teeny gap. Just look at it. Forehand, I would say, is the most typical play. And if you can get a little bit around this corner you can start to think about the birdie we've seen some unbelievable backhand turnovers get all the way down into this flat area where then you really do have some true gaps to get over this ob creek that wraps all the way behind the pin uh it's it's a tough birdie it's a tough first gap that's usually all you're thinking about just hit the gap see what happens after that Own makes it through some really good power on this sidearm. Catches some trees, but she'll have something. Yeah, she's past where the OB, um, she's, or there's one little corner where the OB kind of pulls off of the fairway. Mm -hmm. So smooth. Morgan does turn this one over just a bit, but she gets down about to the corner. And usually if you can get that far, you can make a par happen. Ooh, Deanne, late release, but works out pretty good. Another situation where the further you get down there, the easier it is because it just takes a couple layers of those checkerboarded trees. Even early. But still gets all the, all the way. Oh, my, she's gonna hit a spectator. She's way down there. <laughs> she said, "I don't want to talk about it." <laughs> Morgan with a little flex forehand, just chipping something up to the short side. Not quite trying to go for the island quite yet. 
own. Not left with a whole lot here. Just gonna lay up. Maybe give herself a long look. Still probably at least 100 feet away, though. Do you think Deanne's running it? Uh, no. Okay. There, I, I don't know if, if she had a, a real gap. Yeah, sometimes you have to throw backwards from there. Not backwards, but just sideways from there instead of directly at the pin. Raven with some interesting footing. Going for a, it. Yeah, she's got a distance driver in her hand. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> the course yeah. giveth, the course taketh away. I wonder if she wants to talk about that one. <laughs> Morgan, little chip shot, definitely a little more right than she was trying to go. She will have a putt for par, though. Own oh, running jump putt. Oh. Oh, no. The only one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I kind of want a sticker of that. <laughs> Funny reaction. I wonder if Justin was like, don't run this. And she was like, yeah, he no, I was, think I got this. He was like, <laughs> oh. really? <laughs> that level is on the line. Just you guys. Okay, then I would say it Yeah, the way that OB line is painted, this is a weird situation. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Oh, and taking it from the short side. Does miss the putt, though. First big mistakes we've seen from Own, but she has some strokes to give. Yeah. Wow. Great putt. Morgan. Again, stringing together some of the most difficult pars on the course. Same as she did yesterday. Deanne's still super solid on the green. Raven for a rare birdie. Yeah. Wow. And good to see her cash one of those after missing a few. She's back. One of only seven birdies on this hole today. And one of only seven people that got to circle one in regulation. Seven's kind of a lot for that one. Yeah. Checking in with Natalie Ryan going huge off the tee, getting all the way into this secondary gap. He's a pretty simple chip shot. Yeah, she went so, she, so aggressive on the tee shot. It's a scary one. There's some early trees you want to avoid because if you catch those, it is bad. I just got done dancing around in the, her backswing of her putt, <laughs> not paying attention. That sounds right. She still made it, though. <laughs> While laughing. She made it and moves to six down. <laughs> oh, and also six down. Here's the hole we just watched Natalie play. It's 387 feet, but the uphill uh, nature of the first half of the hole makes it play more like 500, 450, 500. First shot, you want to get it about 300 feet up this hill by that glowing log. Your second shot, a forehand or a backhand turnover shot to the screen is great. I like the backhand because you don't have to push that tree line deep. Uh, a lot of players end up in circle two. A lot of players hit early trees off the tee and have a weird scrambly shot and just play this one for parts. It's a great FPO hold, one of the easier holes of the day. Raven putting a good move on this disc, getting way up there. A little on the left side, but she should have a pretty, a, as clear as it gets, basically, look at the pin. And Morgan hit an early tree on the right yesterday, makes the correction. She's up on the flat nicely. It looks like she just, like, glides into that shot. There's no, not even, like, any push. It's just, like, a whip. I was hoping you'd do a sound effect for it. <laughs> Deanne pulls this one to the right. If she's not too deep into the woods, it's not the hardest par 
to get, but we'll see. Oh, and also going to find herself in a similar spot to Deanne. A little farther up, but very pinched. She was there yesterday, too, I believe. Deanne trying to work around the corner. Doesn't have the height to get all the way down to the green. But that's a good recovery play. This is where strokes can stack up quickly, trying to work a weird shot through this corner. This is looking great from Morgan. Nice sidearm to about 25 feet. She does get a little bit of a roll, but she's up there for a birdie. Oh, not really left with much. Trying to go out and around and catches the corner trees. It's such a dense little patch of trees right there. Raven looking oh, almost yeah. straight at the pin. <laughs> Raven catches the tree, drops short, looking at another birdie. Own finds a little gap. Low ceiling flex forehand. Catches a tree, she'll have to earn that par with a little bit of a putt. What's that, edge of circle? Yeah, maybe just a step inside. We'll see. Ooh, Dan catches a tree. I think she's pretty deep in circle, too. This is for par. So close to recovering it. This one doesn't feel great to bogey out of all of them. It will, this is the third easiest hole of the day. Oh, falling off uh, her pace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, she's still playing well. Like anything under par out here is so good. But she was shredding, and now she's kind of making some unforced errors. A nice birdie from Morgan. Playing the hole a lot better than yesterday. Raven, back-to-back -back birdies. Very solid birdies. There were 19 birdies on hole 15 today. Just over 40% of the field getting this one. <laughs> Look at that commitment. Yeah, and Raymond's getting some really good distance. Natalie currently with the hot round at five down through 15. Southern royalty was born of a plastic stone. Hole 16, a long par 5, 969 feet. We have seen... Wait, have we seen... E there are eagles out here, possible. Uh, Holland Hanley got it yesterday. OB lining both sides. You want to get up and over the hill as far as you can. Second shot if you can get uh, far enough to the top of this secondary hill where you can see the pin you are sitting pretty you tend to see people attack on the third and try to get down to the green and just hope you land once again a very fast green if you make a mistake you want to land a little bit short and have a circle two look hopefully for your birdie but it is really easy to try to go huge on this hole and end up going ob natalie just going huge And going huge again. Very similar line to what we saw Holland Hanley do yesterday. Just a little short of it. At this point, there was a card actually on the green. The spotter was like, I didn't know anyone was going to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rare play here. Natalie just laying this one up, not trying to mess around with that OB line deep. Let's take the easy birdie. Yep. Two very impressive shots. Really using the tailwind to her advantage. I believe that's to move her to six. Wait, seven, seven. down. Yeah, seven yeah. down on the round. Cool. Raven up first. Trying with some good power here out to the right. Fading towards the OB, but checks up. No problem. Solid distance. Raven throwing a fusion raider there.
Morgan showing us her backhand. It feels like for the first time today. Hangs it and trusts it over that OB line right. It's great distance. Actually, she threw it on hole uh, five, I think, That's or four. That's what it feels like. Yeah. <laughs> but it was the same. Oh, I was just going to say it was the same problem. Just a, almost a little bit too turned. It's almost like she's like, okay, there's OB over there. I'm going to pull the backhand out. And oops, I'm going to throw it right at it. <laughs> <laughs> Deanne ah, finding the OB early. And this hole can really lengthen if you find that OB on your tee shot. Own, hanging it out to the right, trusting it. Great shot. You want to end up more on the left side on the second shot, away from that big bush on the corner. That looks really nice. Managing to almost get to the top of the hill. Ideally, you like to get there so you can see the pin and see the... Uh, big flat area short of the green. Deanne throwing three after being OB. This and, is aggressive. Yeah, which is, I mean, really cool. Really, really cool. But that's where you see strokes sometimes stack. Deanne managing to really throw that about as hard as she can and stay in bounds. Such a hard shot, Raven attacking that corner, really trusting that her disc isn't going to turn. Getting down the hill nicely. Morgan back to the forehand. Throwing right at OB. <laughs> and checking up. Own. Likely going for it from here. And did that trickle? Oh, she's she's safe. You never know out here with these crazy little creeks at, at Idlewild. Morgan with another forehand overturned. Heading OB. I feel like she was sending it too. Yeah, definitely. I think it's kind of worth it. Sometimes you try to lay up and it still doesn't work. Morgan's going to be in a strange spot. There's a lot more trees on the left than the right. Deanne working a little late flip. Be nice. Aww. Yeah. Dang. It is not Deanne's day. Look how far Raven is after two. This is great. I Able saw to her hit it on the island yes or uh sorry in round one. Or no, that was yesterday. We just got a chase card check in. Ooh. She gets a friendly tree bounce. Was she inside the circle there? I think just on the edge. She is stoked to have a birdie putt on this one. Yeah, yesterday she hit the bricks and just flopped backwards. It was so impressive. Mm -hmm. Was that the cage? It looked like it, yeah. All right. Wow. Just trying to throw it in low key. Love that. Own for a birdie. Leaves it left. Ooh. Yeah, checks up on that weird stair. The floating stair. Yeah. It's like a big step from the bridge to that stair. Anyway, here's Raven Klein for birdie. No. Mm. Played the hole so great. Deanne for a bogey. Mm. Mm. She's had to make so many tester putts today. Yeah, it's stressful. A nice clean par again from Morgan. There were only two birdies today, Natalie, Ryan, and Holland Hanley. The only... That's the only two. Wow. Played hard today. Mm-hmm. Third most difficult hole of the day. The way the cookie crumbles sometimes.
Oh, and still at double digits under par total for the weekend, more than we've seen in years past. Then comes hole 17. It's only 287, but that little wiggly creek moves all the way through the center of this fairway. A lot of forehand bailout plays to this little spot right here. You see a lot of backhand bailouts to the next little spot on the left, to the left of this bridge. Um, it's mostly just about choosing what you want to do. We do see a lot of players just try to kind of ace run it and choose to have that really easy comeback putt. But we saw Raven yesterday or maybe the day before blast past the basket and have a huge comeback putt. Yeah, um, she, she's sorry. She stabled up. Yeah. Um, oh, no. Oh. To try to end up on the left, which she was doing, but gets a brutal little kick. Yeah, there's weirdly like the creek that wraps around the green on the deep side, there's a bunch of safe area pass. So you end up sometimes having like a 50 foot comeback putt to a little tiny green to the smallest green ever. Morgan definitely turns that too, <laughs> too much. You know what? She parked it. Whatever. I, Whatever. Hole 17, you'll take it. Yes, that is amazing. Yeah, let's see it. You never see discs land on this green. That is so cool. Especially not ones that sail to this side of the fa fairway. Like, off the bridge, through the trees. <laughs> Magical. That's amazing. <laughs> and Morgan putting together a clean back nine. I wish there was a stat for how many people actually land on that. Because I, I feel like it's so small. It's, I can tell you it's three. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably, it might not even be three, That's honestly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think it's like one per day. Yeah. Maybe two. Own with that bailout sidearm does end up farther on the right than you would like. She seems a little bit jealous of Jordan, who's parked. <laughs> and Deanne with a really nice turning backhand shot. Oh, oh sh my. come on. It's, it's leaning. Oh, my. Deanne just can't catch a break yeah. today. I mean, it's a combo of like not throwing great shots, but then when they are great, it is a bad break. It's just hard to watch. That was a great shot. Own oh, just going to lay up. That's smart. Deanne inside the circle. Test her, though. Mm -hmm. And a nice save. The fact that she was just sitting on the wood. Ugh. But out. Ugh. Heartbreaker. Raven. Giving a mark on the short side. Just missing those testers. Morgan, though. Tap in birdie. Only six birdies on hole 17 today. Looks like Stacy Ronsley also parked this hole. Cool. Everyone else having to make a wide circle one putt or I think there was a throw in from Vanessa Van Dyken. What a strange spread. I've never experienced a lead card like this. <laughs> it's been a strange day. Own in a commanding lead over Natalie Ryan, who's seven down through 17, still a four stroke difference. Own doesn't need to do too much to win it here. Uh, Hole 18's a par five, 650 feet uphill, then down. You can choose to kind of take some off and lay up and just be in the center, or you see the aggressive play try to get all the way about three quarters down the tunnel. We've seen some eagles here. Can't remember if we've seen any this weekend. Second shot, typically you're just trying to get out the gap as far as you can, then either under these branches or maybe around the left side with a sidearm and try to get the birdie. This finishing hole is right after a very long, very steep uphill walk. So you get here a little winded and then have to throw this very demanding shot Morgan, opting for a forehand, that is wild. Yeah, I would argue that the right side is harder to scramble from than the left. For sure. It's just a lot more dense. Even own going backhand here. And I believe that's a strike to a decent spot. Usually from there, it's kind of a hyzer, maybe a skip shot even out of the gap. Deanne trying to stay center cut. I like this play. 
You don't need a ton of distance to get out of the gap and get the birdie. Yeah, keep it nice and low and hopefully not get any big ground play. Raven just throwing a mid-range here, trying to keep it center cut. It's a nice little kick. It was a solid shot either way. Raven up first, trying to get out of the gap here. Ooh, lined up to her skill. Oh, oh no. <sighs> Looked like the right speed, the right angle, just a few inches too far to the right. Yeah, just not quite finishing this round. Ooh, Deanne. Saucy. Laced. So good. Morgan just going to have to throw probably more of a pitch. Ooh, she has a little gap. And she does that as well as she can. Kind of not the best kick. Not sure if she can get to the pin. If she can, it's likely another forehand. Oh, and with that pitch out that Erica was talking about. Ooh, it pushes a little straight. We'll see what she has to work with. Oh, Raven left with something. Oh, pulls it. Yeah, she was sending that. I like the play. Yeah, I mean, she was lined up perfectly for it. Not easy, don't get me wrong, but... Staring right at the basket. Owns third. She doesn't need to do anything nuts here, but might as well throw a really sick backhand shot. Yeah, that's a good shot. And a nice little roll, maybe even has a putt. Yeah, I mean, we're going to see the layup to... Victory tap in. Owen Scoggins gonna be your 2024 Idlewild champion. Ooh, I suppose we didn't see the scores, but even if Natalie eagled, she couldn't catch Owen. Mm -hmm. Morgan with a nice final forehand approach. She'll have a putt. Raven throwing four. Trying to get up to the screen. Save this par. Ooh, gonna be tough from there. Yeah. Those branches are dense. Deanne's third. Trying to get oh. some ground play. Surprised not to see her go backhand. I like how many sidearms we saw from Deanne today. Not her day, but she stayed in it. She fought hard. Yep, She'll be done. back. We all have something to learn from that mental game. Jordan just rugs. Uh, dang it. I've avoided it this whole time. <laughs> Morgan just laying up for a par there. Oh, oh yes, Deanne. <laughs> yeah, finish with that big birdie, girl. <laughs> Yay, and the slow mez. This putt is no joke. Like... You never get through those branches. I'm so glad that she did. I love that she's finishing her day out with a highlight. Because it was a brutal day it out there. It was a rough one. She just needed the crowd. She needed a little help today. <laughs> Deanne going to slide down the leaderboard, but still fin finish well inside the cache. Oh, and making sure she can lay up and still get the win. Not sure how to mark this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Raven. Inside the circle, it looks like, so she can't fall. Uh, <laughs> great commitment there. That was so close. Raven looks to be finishing with a bogey. Yeah, Morgan. Hole 18 played as the fourth most difficult, I mean, fourth easiest hole of the day. Oh, wow. That is just crazy. played hard today. No, played easy. So oh, I see. Easy. I see. Yeah, the rest of the course the rest. Hard. That's what I mean. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. You're champion.
Ladies and gentlemen, your LWS at, at Ottawa Open champion, Owen Scoggins. Scoggins, you turned 43 years old this weekend, and you just won an Elite Series event. How does it feel? Oh, uh, man, amazing. Give me some beer, come on. <laughs> no, I feel, I feel great. I um, want to celebrate my birthday, you know. Um, it's just, it's, I feel so blessing, blessing and just over the moon. Um, God, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do after this. I might just go crazy tonight. <laughs> All right, guys, you heard it from your champion, Owen Scoggins. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, and adding another one to her list. She yeah. just keeps picking them up. And pretty much wire to wire. Yeah, and great to see that uh, her flexing shots work so well in the woods. A nice little warm up for the world championships. Big ups to Natalie Ryan for shooting the seven down to get that solo second place. Sarah Hokum shooting a five down to climb up into solo third. Yeah, Morgan Lynn's great finish at fourth. Raven Klein on our card gonna slide down for a tie for fifth big tie. Miss Madison Walker in that tie Honk. as well, honk. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Um, I think we're gonna leave the booth, go find own mm -hmm. party hard. Party down. <laughs> Late party night. down. <laughs> you, like we do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got worlds, not this week. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, not this weekend, but the next one. So join us there. It's gonna be two brand new courses. It's gonna be something. Five rounds of the two hockey. So I know you guys are so happy. Thanks again to the Founders Club for helping make all this stay together. I am Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. Talk.